Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at formatting data as JSON and we're going to then go on in the next tutorials to actually send that data to a server and your ultimate object here might be to communicate data to another phone but as we've, as we've previously seen the way to do that will be to send your data to a server and then the other phone would have to be checking the server periodically or it, or it would have to have perhaps a socket connection to the server or something so that it could um, then retrieve data from that server so here before we can send the data we need to somehow format it and I'm going to show you how to format data as JSON which kind of assumes that your data is going to not be something like an image but it's going to be maybe some um, integer values or text data like a username and password or something like that. So to send the data to a server the first thing you need is, uh, let's assume that you've already got the data to send, the first thing you need is either a JSON object or a JSON array to act as a root node. And um, I've set up this application here and just like in the, in the last tutorial we've got an application and it's got a text area here which you can't really see and it's got a button marked with send data and if I click that button now it's just going to run this method here so uh, assuming we've got the data we want to send we need a JSON object or a JSON array to act as the root node for our JSON data and I've looked into this and apparently there's no rule as to whether your root kind of node in JSON has to be a array or a map it can be either and uh, apparently also you can even have different values in an array of different types which I didn't realize and I don't know why you would want to do that but it is allowed so anyway let's let's start with maybe a JSON how about a JSON object so I'll start with a JSON object so I'll declare a JSON object and let's call this root and I'll set it equal to a new JSON object like this and I'll add the import control shift O and now we can add key value pairs to this root so I could say root dot put and it's just like using a map in Java so let's say for example user and I'll I'll put my name here, John. And how about root dot put password? And let's put some stuff here. And just to demonstrate, I put like a string of really crazy characters, including even some brackets and things like that. There we go. So you can send any kind of stuff there or I would have to escape a speech mark if I wanted to use it to, to actually get it into the string it would have to be escaped but apart from that you can kind of bung any, any old stuff in there and uh, let's also have um, I mentioned I think in the last tutorial that you, you can have JSON objects that contain JSON arrays and the JSON arrays can contain JSON objects so you can build up really complex data structures it's like maps of lists of lists of maps and so on so just to make this a little bit more complicated let's have a JSON array as one of the values in this object this map type object and actually this throws a um, exception so I'm just going to surround this with a try catch and I'll put this one in the same try catch as well and let's have here a, a JSON array I'll just declare it here I think JSON array whoops get the case right JSON array and um, what should we call this maybe let's call it animals and set that equal to a new JSON array and uh, add the import for JSON array with control shift O and now I can use put on this to add values to it 
animals.put and you see you've got different overloaded varieties of put take doubles and booleans and whatnot and so you can you can add values of different types in here they don't all have to be um, the same type and I, I can't really see why you would do that because to my mind if you had different types in an array you'd be better off using a JSON object so that you can have keys for each value and say what it actually is because to look at an array containing different types is quite confusing you don't know what's going to be in each you know what each value actually means but we'll let that pass and I'm just going to put some strings in here so let's say kangaroo and um, I'll add some more values in here lion dog cat and uh, I'll make this animals JSON array a value in um, the root node corresponding to a key so I'll just say root.put and we'll give it a key like uh, animals it could be anything and I'll put the actual JSON object sorry the JSON array in there as the value and now the final step is we say let's say string JSON equals and the root dot to string and now we've got our JSON and to display that what I'll do is I'll get the actual text view in my application let's call it text view and I'm just going to use standard stuff here I'm just going to use find view by ID and r.id dot output which is the name the ID that I gave to my text view add the import and we'll say text view dot set text JSON so that you can see it um, now one thing actually I should show you is this this two string method is kind of designed with the idea of actually sending data to a server but there's also a two string method that takes a integer value and if you supply an integer in there it will actually format it for to make it more readable to human beings and the integer here is the number of spaces to add to each indent level so I'll just leave it at um, 1 for the moment and let's just run this application and uh, another thing that you're often going to want to do is you're going to want to often you just want to do a like a get request to a server as we've seen before and send like an ID or something or in you know like, or maybe send like a username or a password and um, and that it's actually the server that would send back the JSON so here we're going to send JSON to a server but you often want to do it the other way around and if you search for something like JSON Java in Google you'll find that there's um, a, a library that's included with Android but you can use that library in your server program if your server is Java to actually format JSON the same way in your server it works just the same but you probably will need to include a extra jar and of course if you're using PHP or something like that um, there are built-in methods that can format JSON I believe so I've got the application up and running and let's let's take a look and I'll just click the button here and here's my formatted JSON so uh, you can see that because I started off with a root object it's a JSON object it's kind of like a map I've got it's opening with this curly parenthesis and there's a closing one down there and here are my key value pairs and you can actually see that um, the forward slash in this password value has actually been escaped by a backslash which is handy and uh, the other values you can see user um, these are key value pairs separated by colons and here's my here's my animals array and you can see it's an array well the actual here's the key and the value is the array and the array is surrounded by square brackets like this and I've got my animals coming out here. So that's it for this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we're going to send this JSON to a server. So join me again then. And until next time, happy coding.